next up is our special guest for this week, Mrs. Carrie Finn. Now, you know, C Carrie Finn is uh, one of the people that's involved in the MVP program. She's actually joining us from Redmond. Uh, she's a Microsoft employee around community service. Um, Carrie, would you mind saying hello and just uh, telling everybody a little bit about yourself? Absolutely. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for having me on. Uh, yes, I'm here from beautiful Redmond in my luxurious office, which has four walls and a fluorescent light. <laughs> That's pretty much the extent of it. And uh, in this office, I am uh, the community program manager that has a relationship with Microsoft MVPs, or most valuable professionals, uh, mostly in the consumer space, products like Office, like Excel. And basically what that means is we find super excellent expert community enthusiasts out there in the world, and then we reach out to them and award them this special recognition, and then for the next 12 months, we have a relationship with them to work together in the community. And it's totally awesome. I love my job. It's really rewarding. I get to meet great people like Jordan and, uh, and work with him, and I've, so far I've been here for about four years, and I just feel like I'm getting started. Great, great. Great. Now, Thank you. Thanks so much for joining. Go ahead, Jordan. Now, uh, would you say that Excel MVPs are your favorite? <sighs> of course I would. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Let me think about that a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Um, I have to say, uh, I love all of my MVPs equally. <laughs> But the Excel MVPs have a little extra flavor. They're an odd bunch. Just saying. I, I'm in not, other I'm not words, sure. they're an odd yeah. bunch. Yeah, in other words. <laughs> you know, I, was, uh, I had an interview maybe about two or three weeks or so ago with uh, Bob Umless. Umless. Mm. Umless. I keep saying it wrong. Bob Umless this week. And he said, you know, I guess he was involved in the program from the very beginning. Uh, uh, where I, I, I you know, from the interview, he said uh, his name was found in a book somewhere where somebody referenced him, and next thing he knows, he's invited to some sort of summit. How do you? How does? What is? What are? From your perspective, what are these summits like? If somebody's going to walk in for the first time and be part of the MVP program, and say Jordan or somebody walks in for the first time, what does that look like for them? What, what all is involved in that? Can, can we back up a second and sure. say, okay, so you got some Excel users somewhere? Um, and they start seeing Excel MVP. What is MVP? What? That's a great what? question. Why aren't they just, hey, you know a lot of Excel stuff. What makes them an MVP? That's a great question. Uh, there's a magic combination of factors, and uh, it depends on uh, what part of the world you're in. But here in the U.S., well, as a general rule, anyone who is an MVP is someone who is, number one, an expert in some Microsoft technology, like Excel. The other very, very important component is that they use their expertise to help some group of people in the community through some fashion. So that would be uh, answering questions on forums or writing those Excel for Dummies books or they do user group leadership events and host speaking engagements and a million other things. But the spirit of the award is definitely one that someone who has this expertise is at the top of their game and is using that passion to help other people in the community use it and learn it better. That's in, in a nutshell what makes up a Microsoft MVP. Got you. Gotcha. So being smart is just being smart at the tool isn't good enough. You know, you got to be Not, out there in the community making it happen. Uh, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. And so, what what's the big deal with that? Do you get a plaque and a handshake? High five. <laughs> you learn a secret handshake. And, uh, <laughs> you get one of these. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. That's a, oh, that's awesome. Yes, we do teach the uh, the secret handshake at the MVP Summit, but we can't obviously disclose what that is to you guys. But right. uh, but yes, they do get a, a fancy statue, <laughs> and they also <clears throat> they also get a dedicated account manager, who would be me. Nice. Wow. Okay. And 
Uh, they also um, are invited to be on a distribution list with the people who make the product that they're an expert in. So the engineers and the all the people involved who make that Excel product, uh, they can have conversations with them, you know, const constantly to say, oh, I found a bug in the product, or hey, I have a suggestion of a feature that would make this product work better. Um, and then there's a multitude of other opportunities that we will present to MVPs during their award year that they can either take advantage of or not. Um, and the biggest benefit is this MVP summit that Rick alluded to. Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, it's a really, just to come back to that point, it's a, a really amazing, spectacular, huge, and intense week where we invite our MVPs from all over the world. Currently there are about 3,800 of them and of that group about 1,800 make it. So we invite uh, 1,800, well we invite the whole 38, but 1,800 come, they are put up in hotels and fed three times a day and then they're invited to session after session about news about what's going on with the product, um, ways to uh, build your community better, uh, and mostly hugely deeply technical deep dives uh, with other MVPs around content that they can't share with the community. So it's like top secret stuff on what's going on with the product. Mm -hmm. And uh, and by the end of that, they're normally pretty exhausted. But it's a really fun week because you um, you get to hang out with all of your peers. Uh, you're going to all kinds of events where you're um, socializing with people who work at Microsoft and make those products, with other people in communities, with MVPs you may not communicate with because they're in a different country. We have uh, fun events, um, like we have one called the MVP Showcase, where about uh, 100 of the MVPs will be showcased in like an expo type event where they can let everybody know what they're working on and and uh, and it's a great place for people to um, to network and meet each other and then you know work on projects throughout the year All right so so it's a really big deal I and mean, there's something of substantive it's not just a, a plaque and some name to be able to call yourself but to have access to the people who do develop the product, um, meet other people. All right, so yeah. Yeah, that, that does and, sound like. Oh, it's a good time. I just, I just want to say, you know, I've I've been to places that have described the food set out as like a smorgasbord, but only at that <laughs> summit was it an actual, <laughs> veritable smorgasbord. I mean, there's just so much good food. I can't stress that enough. I mean, yes, the technical yeah. <laughs> meetup, uh, the, the people you meet, but the food is the food is quite amazing. But no, it it is quite an amazing um, experience. And so, okay, everybody, we're back. So here's the thing that happens. You know, I, I'm uh, we're we're hosting this from a hotel room this week because I'm here at a conference. And so you know, there's that magic 24 hours to where you're in a hotel room and like yeah yeah you get internet connection. And it's good for 24 hours, and you don't know when it's going to end. And we found out that it ends at about 9:23 p.m. Eastern time in the hotel room I'm staying in. So, so my apologies for that. Hopefully, most of you are able to make it back on, or to, uh, or to get the, or be able to get the recording later on. Uh, we're going to pick up with the last question, though. Uh, Jordan, would you mind uh, asking asking Carrie that question again? Sure. Um, so what I asked Carrie was, um, you know, what what is a way that someone could be nominated for for uh, becoming an MVP? So that's the process I imagine people become MVPs is through nomination from nominations from um, from uh, either fellow MVPs or other folks at Microsoft who catch their attention, or they can nominate themselves, which is actually what I did. Um, so. You nominated uh, I, yourself? I did, I did, and I was afraid you because I do thought... that? That's like a thing. That's like a right, thing. Right, right. It, it took a year before I got it, so I, I wanted to know, and I know we answered this question before. Oh, um, man, I didn't know that. No, you can. You can. Um, That's a thing. Wow. So, 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 so can, can we... Okay, so do is that the question that you want to start with? Because I don't know when we got kicked off. No, and, that is when we got kicked off, because I got, I got a message from one of my... What, from one of our esteemed viewers. Um, All right. Thanks, oh, yeah. viewer. Thanks, right. viewer number four. <laughs> <laughs> All 
<laughs> All right. So sorry if you're repeating that again, uh, Carrie. That's okay. I actually uh, just got launched off and back on. So you want to talk about the how to nominate yourself bit? Well, not necessarily just about nominating yourself, but Heck you know yeah. um, the nomination yeah. process, and you can nominate yourself. <laughs> Heck yeah, I want to know how you nominate yourself. <laughs> Well, I just put a link in the chat box. Hopefully, y'all can see that. Yep, we got about, it. Yeah. Uh, you go there, and you can literally uh, fill out a web form to nominate yourself or someone else. And um, we absolutely 100% encourage people to nominate themselves. Um, we have so many great folks all over the world, um, and sometimes we can't always get out in the community enough to see absolutely everyone. So if you raise your hand and say, hey, what about me, what about me? It's, it's, a, it's really helpful and we love it. So definitely uh, reach out and, uh, and be your biggest advocate. Yeah, and then if you're not quite there and you need a little um, help, then we can work together to see if uh, we can help you do whatever it is you're passionate about in the community and maybe a little bit more so that you might uh, have a stronger chance to get that MVP award. I mean, ultimately, we want to thank and uh, award officially as many people as we possibly can. There's so many people doing awesome stuff, but this award is really for an elite group of people, so um, we we definitely um, will try to award as many people as we can, um, but we will most definitely absolutely know you're there if you nominate yourself, so we, we absolutely encourage it. So I just put that I just put that link out there on our Facebook page, and you know Oz and I were talking about this before the show. You know I, I did see a picture I think of whenever Oz went to the MVP summit, and it was a picture of him with Mr. Excel and like Rob Colley and everybody's there. And, <laughs> that was me. And, and, oh, I, got, I think that was me. That was me. Yeah. You know, and I and I noticed, and Jordan or uh, Oz and I were talking about this that oh, as I looked at that picture. There's an underrepresentation of people with goatees and people wearing bow ties with hats. And and my question to you is, you know, as you look out from the the 15 applications you're going to get tomorrow from people with goatees, who look to get diversity among your group so that you have more people who have facial hair like me and uh, and bow ties. <laughs> So you cut in and out, but basically you want you want us to award people with more facial hair. Is that the rundown? Yes, yes, yeah. That, that, that was it. That was that was basically that was everything I had to and say. That's all I have to contribute to the rest of the show. And bow ties. Then what happened is Uncle Sai from Duck Dynasty will wind up getting MVP and knock out like twenty people. <laughs> and see, and then you're gonna regret it, Rick. See? I know, right? You know, I think. I think uh, we need more women in Excel. We need more women uh, using using Microsoft Excel and becoming MVPs. So um, oh, I don't know if yeah. there's a a program for that, but I encourage uh, any any women who want to join us. And that I, is a great point. Yeah. yeah. Now, and it, it's good to know when you talk about people who aren't quite there yet that you're able to to help nurture and get them there. Absolutely. So, yeah. 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 And feel free to reach out to me, and I'll help you with that. Um, here, I'm put my email address. Yeah, anybody in the community who's looking for support, help, anything, go ahead and email me. I welcome it. Um, and not just in Excel either. Um, you know, we'll we'll work with anybody who is out in the communities doing great stuff and want to help our customers. We're we're there. Yeah. Now, are there any uh, great community events you're working on right now, Carrie, coming up? Well, I mean, we're actually working on uh, the next MVP Summit. <laughs> so it's, it's, all, it's months away, but we are working on that. And then on t um, as far as what's available to the public, I'm personally working on a lot of online events for our MVP mentor program, which is like a sub program of the mentor program of the MVP program, where our MVPs will teach the community uh, a specific topic. So we have about mm. I think 40 or so of those planned um, that are in different languages and different time zones. 
Uh, and actually, I'll give you the Facebook post so you can see where those are listed. And uh, the community is absolutely invited to attend all of those. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. We'll teach people about a specific topic. Yes, sir. And what's an example? Well, an example is how to write an app for Windows 8. Okay. Uh, or how to get your um, indie game that you've developed onto the Xbox platform, or um, how to, you know, create uh, a SharePoint site uh, with, you know, various functionality, or how to do um, Windows Phone development, um, and on and on. We have 90 different technologies, so we try to touch as many as we can. We're nowhere near 90, but um, but yeah, pick any product, and, and we'll have an MVP who wants to teach about that. Wow, that's interesting. It was interesting to find out, I think Bob Umlis said that yeah, there's MVPs for every product. Everyone. Wow. Even, even Xbox. Oh yeah, Xbox. I can't, I can't throw all over that. <laughs> well, I wonder about what you do about, about the wailing and gnashing of teeth around SharePoint. <laughs> you got plenty of tissues and you know, that, man, that stuff is hard. But <laughs> it is. Wailing and gnashing of teeth. Yes. Shouting. Yeah. That's true. Speaking of Bob Umless, he was our very first MVP to reach the 20-year mark. He was consecutively awarded MVP for 20 straight years in wow. Excel. Wow. Yeah, he's pretty awesome. He, uh, we did a big fancy thing for him at the um, MVP Summit last time. But yeah, it's pretty impressive. And, and I really appreciate what Rick is doing with a lot of this stuff because I had not heard of Bob. Um, until the interview, and then it led me into other things, and I ordered one of his books last week um, as a result of one of these interviews. So I uh, seems to be a pretty interesting guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we have a lot of... Uh, do you know about Bill Jelen? He's another yeah. amazing guy. I know. He's a future uh, guest. What, what we've heard of him. Oh, he, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so you know all about him. And Mike Gervin is another... Uh, mm -hmm. Awesome guy, yeah. We if you go to the MVP award program website, there's a whole section there where you can find MVPs in any region for any product. Wow. I should get that link for you too. So yeah, if you want to look up future uh, future guests on your show, this would be a good place to go. Awesome. 